Welcome back to the show. Well, the question today is, what would you be willing to pay for your morning caffeine hit? Mm. New research shows the average price is set to skyrocket in the coming decades. I'll buy it anyway, I don't care. <laughs> According to experts, in 70 years, we'll be forking out a whopping $34 for a flat white. The question is, what will we be paying for other everyday items in the future? In today's world, taking the family to the movies is a luxury. Chins up, smiles on. But if you thought paying $20 to see the Hunger Games was outrageous, what will we be shelling out for everyday items in 10, 20, even 70 years? In 1901, a bottle of milk and a loaf of bread cost just four pence. 1940 saw that rise to five pence. And by 1970, a litre of milk jumped to 19 cents, thanks to inflation. Fast forward to 2014 and shoppers are now forking out up to $5 for that same litre and a whopping $6 for a loaf of bread. Before the post-war era, you could pick up a pound of tea for 36 pence. Now, a skinny latte will set you back $3.50. That price is expected to double in 20 years and experts are predicting the cost of a caffeine hit could be a staggering $34 in 70 years. Even the way we pay is changing. Pounds, shillings and pence were used until 1966 with one and two dollar coins replacing notes in the mid-80s. I have something here for all Australians. The new one dollar coin. Now new tap-and-go technology is taking over. And with Apple letting customers make purchases with a touch of their iPhones, cash could soon be a thing of the past. And futurist Christopher Riddle joins us now live. Chris, welcome to the show. Inflation obviously plays a big part in the rising prices. What other items are going to soar, do you think, in the future? I think we're going to see a real increase in things like the cost of electricity and fuel for vehicles. And I think that's going to be where we're going to see some big price increases over the next few years. Are we going to be able to afford, you know, these prices? So will our, uh, our wages rise at the same rate? Yeah, absolutely. I think, look, we've got a great quality of life here in Australia. I think our salaries are some of the highest in the world, and, and, and that's a really good thing. I think going forwards, our salaries will continue to rise. We can check on the internet the, the benchmark against other people in our same industry, so we will see that increase. We'll need the salaries to rise if it's $34 for a coffee, won't mm, we? That's uh, Paris prices. Yeah, it is, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? Uh, which you can never afford to have. Um, $10 movie nights, obviously a thing of the past. Movie prices, are they going to keep going up, or do you think they need to actually come down to stop the kind of the illegal downloading. This is a really interesting one. Movie prices are going to continue to go up, but I think what we're going to see here is actually an increase in technology. When you go to a cinema, it's around having an experience. People will still want to go and be part of that experience as we go forward, but you're going to see more 3D technology in there, bigger screens. Mm. You're not going to have to wear these silly glasses going forward. It's going to be a really immersive experience. Speaking right. of technology, smartphones, you know, they're already hitting the yep. thousand dollar mark. Do you think a technology as a, as a unit will mm. get more expensive? Yeah, look, we're going to see a bigger divide between the more basic level technology. So you're still going to be able to buy those cheaper devices, but you're going to see more around this premium end of the market. Uh, we're seeing that the plus $1,000 devices, we're going to see that trend continue. If you want that technology, you're going to have to pay for it. Tap and go is the new way to pay. It's a lot easier, obviously. Yeah. Do you think social media will help take that to the next level? Yeah, we're already seeing some trends come through where you can actually start to pay for um, goods and services online through Twitter, through Facebook and uh, the wallet is going to be a thing of the past very shortly. You're not going to even need to take your wallet into a store. In a few years' time, it'll be quite a funny notion that we'd look back and we had this piece of leather in our back pockets that we used to take in bits of plastic. You think then cash will be a thing of the past too, right? Yeah, very much so. Cash is going to disappear. I'm very happy that the wallet's going out because it puts a big, large lump in the back of your back and you throws my back out like George Costanza. What, how full is your wallet? Oh, it's got all the receipts it's, in there. Really You're big. obviously too loaded, much money. Loaded. Um, is there anything, Chris, that will stay the same? Look, I think the thing that's going to be continuing as we go for experiences. People are going to want to be able to experience more as they go ahead. They're going to be able to want to connect to more people globally. Uh, we're going to see that continue, and that's going to be a trend going forward. Mm. Excellent. Excellent. Right, Chris, nice thank one. you. The future yeah. looks bright. It does, and it's exciting. Good. I don't Great. know, the $34 coffee didn't sound that pleasing. Mm, it's a bit pricey, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, soon for you, we find out what happens when one TV talk show hosts mm. ask parents to steal their little kids' Halloween lollies.